I'd like to talk about energy. Energy is the ability to cause a change. Energy, the ability to cause a change. We get our energy from different resources. So they're classified into three basic types. So types of energy resources include non-renewable. Non-renewable resources are resources that are being used up faster than we could replace them. We have renewable resources. Renewable resources provide us with energy that can be regenerated within a lifetime. Then we have perpetual resources. Perpetual resources of energy are ones that will outlive all of us. Resources that will be around for many, many, many years, like sunshine and wind power. Those are energy resources that will outlive all of us. Two basic forms of energy are kinetic energy and potential energy. Potential energy is energy that's stored uh, in position. So if, some, if a car is at the top of a hill and someone gives it a little push, it's going to get energy from gravity and move down the hill because gravity is pulling on it. That energy, while it's sitting on top of the hill, is called potential energy. Nothing is moving yet, but the car has the potential to move because of gravity. Secondly, we have kinetic energy. energy. Kinetic energy is energy of motion. So, once the car is sitting on top, full of potential energy, and somebody gives it a push, and it starts to move, once the car is moving, it has kinetic energy. Energy changes form constantly, from kinetic energy to potential energy, potential energy back to kinetic energy. A good example would be the energy stored in fossil fuels, oil in the ground. So the oil just being in the ground has potential energy. We can take the oil and uh, refine it, put it in our cars, and turn it into gasoline, put it in our cars, and then it, once the car is moving, the potential energy of the oil turns into kinetic energy of the car moving. We could have kinetic energy of winding, uh, say, a rubber band around a toy. So winding the rubber band is kinetic energy, or moving the rubber band. Well, with the rubber band being stretched so, so much, now it has potential energy. Once you release the rubber band, the rubber band starts to move, which is kinetic energy. So back and forth and forth and back all the time. The law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed. So it can change form. Energy changes form in equal amounts. So the amount of energy you put into something is the amount you're going to get back out. All the energy we have is all the energy we will ever have. Again, that goes with it cannot be created or destroyed. All the energy we have is all the energy we will ever have. For more information, please email me. I try to give a 24-hour turnaround on emails at rose underscore wignall at abss.k12.nc.us.